uh, George Masney, I'm 90 years old. I'll be 91 in February. Uh, December 7th, uh, we uh, complained because they got us up early for breakfast. But uh, throughout the day, that's the only thing we had to eat, so <laughs> we're glad that we had a good breakfast. Mm -hmm. But we came back to the tent area where we were uh, sleeping because uh, we were on uh, guard duty at the time and uh, the, uh, we, the planes were, were uh, starting to come in and we thought it was just the, the Navy practicing. We heard some uh, blasts and, and thought the Navy was uh, doing something and so we didn't realize what it was until the, the dive bombers peeled off and, and went up in the air and we could see the red balls of the Japanese insignia on the wingtip, or the wings rather, and, and uh, that's when we knew the Japanese were, attack, were attacking it. And so uh, we head for cover and, and uh, we, uh, uh, they came in strafing and, and bombing and, and uh, all we had was some Springfield rifles, rifles that were pretty old fashioned. At the, even at that time, and uh, so we uh, were shooting at the airplanes with <laughs> this, uh, these rifles, and they uh, uh, didn't do much damage, I'm sure, but we, we uh, used, did all we could. <laughs> but uh, that was mostly what happened during the time, and then they came back later and uh, did some more bombing and strafing. Uh, I think it was about an hour or so later that they came in. But uh, it was uh, uh, exciting. <laughs> well, we saw there's a lot of smoke coming up, of course, and but uh, uh, we didn't realize, you know, how many ships they'd uh, they'd uh, sunk or what had happened there. But we knew that they did a lot of damage there, but we had no idea the the extent of it. We, we uh, even throughout the day we were just uh, expecting them to come back again, and so we were always on the alert for that, and, and uh, I, I got a Browning automatic rifle later on for perimeter uh, uh, protection and, and expecting them to come in during the night, and, which they didn't, of course, but uh, uh, that was pretty much that day. And then the next day we, uh, we uh, were getting ready to move to the Windbird side of the island over to Bellows Field, where the whole squadron was moving over there. Hmm. We didn't have any planes at that time because they were all shot up and uh, destroyed with bombs and so forth. But but we got uh, B-17s shortly afterwards, and then we were ready to be, enter into the uh, Battle of Midway, which was the next operation. Uh, God was with me, I guess. Realized that he had been watching over me as, as uh, uh, being able to not be wounded or, or, or killed during that time.